Hello my soccer universe. Uh, this weekend you're gonna get one extra video because I thought I need to do this uh, to acknowledge the fact that yesterday and I am not saying this lightly but yesterday was the biggest day of football that we had this year. Easily. I mean in a nine hour window. Okay seven hour window because I had the last game <laughs> in a nine hour window there were at least seven great matches and I did my best to watch all of them plus fortunately last played early unfortunately it didn't go well so uh, I just want to start this off not necessarily talking about the games although you will get the results I will go a little bit more in depth in my dedicated review vi videos just how I kind of managed to get this madness started so I mean first off I think this madness would be very it would have been the more dif dif difficult to get over with um, if I had the kids at home. Fortunately, they have vacations, so uh, they were at least uh, both were gone for most of this afternoon, which already helped. I also had prepared my wife, and you know, uh, we had a uh, so I spent significant amount of time uh, with her. So you gotta get this out of the way, and I said, okay, from around two to eleven. I will not be a whole lot available, which tells you, yeah, yours truly here is an absolute uh, madman. But I really thought I cannot really choose. So uh, the whole thing started, of course, uh, with Lusk. And yeah, this was the big downer of the entire day. And I'll talk to it in the uh, video for the Austrian and the German Bundesliga, which will be the next one. I'm going to do this next because I need to get this out of my system as well. Uh, while that game was in its uh, horrible finishing stages, uh, and of course, the Classico started at 4.15, so cover, 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 4. And yeah, uh, the big balance for me was I have um, the Skybox, which I can only watch on, on the on TV and on the Zone. I can stream on both. Uh, uh, on both uh, on a lab on a computer and on the TV so kind of you have to figure it out this way as well what do I can get on the skybox on the skybox I, I got for this particular day uh, of course the Austrian Bundesliga where I totally I Austrian Bundesliga had a 1v2 match with Salzburg against Sturm but I completely ignored that one because that was probably the least interesting one of the top top games but yeah even the Austrian Bundesliga had a top top game I think the only two leagues that didn't have a veritable top game was the German Bundesliga and Liga Portugal so I mean uh, kind of every schedule, other schedule maker said okay here we put our most important games so, but going back to the fine, ba uh, fine balance. So the Austrian Bundesliga um, and the Premier League. I only could watch on the Skybox, so uh, decisions had to be made. So, uh, and then also we had uh, to just go through the kickoff times. We had at 4.15 the Classico, we had at 4.45 Ajax against PSV. We had at 5.30 was Manchester United Liverpool. We had at 6 o'clock Roma against Napoli. And then we had at 8, 40, 40, 45, we had both uh, PSG against uh, Marseille and Inter against Juve. So, they are a little bit staggered, but they had to be especially uh, in the, um, you know, once the Classico uh, kick, 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 kicked off, it, there needed to be some planning. So, I decided in the main screen, I finished last uh, Classico, although... At first, I thought main screen. Nah, uh, let's put it on the TV on on the TV screen uh, because once the Austrian Bundesliga finished, then uh, I can switch over to the uh, topper in the Netherlands. So uh, Ajax against PSV, which I managed to do, but on the way there, I also knew I want to first set the box that I can sweep. <laughs> flip quicker from the Austrian Bundesliga channel to the Premier League channel. While flipping so, I saw the winning goal of West Ham against Spurs. So, uh, added benefit. So again, I watched the Classico, I put the topper on and I have to say I focused very much on the topper because I was not so much into the Classico because I saw the Classico the way it will be going and I'm very much into Ajax uh, these days because they're very entertaining. Uh, the topper actually for a while was not the greatest of games but you know it got a very intriguing scoreline. Um, 
at halftime, of course, I flipped over where it was only 1-0 Ajax. I flipped over, of course, uh, almost immediately to uh, Liverpool playing at Manchester United. Uh, just saw the first, just not saw the first goal, but I saw it in the replay. Second, second goal, it was 2 0, and I'm thinking, okay, maybe the 15 minutes of United Liverpool is all that I need to see. I can really focus on the topper. I flip over, the topper goes out of whack very quickly, while the Classico actually was a little bit more exciting than I did expect it to be. Uh, so I'm watching back, back, back and forth, and I said, I think when Ajax made it 4 0, I flipped over and I see. Liverpool is also 3-0, 4-0, so it was kind of a balancing act uh, with the focus on the Classico. Pro it was when, uh, when Real Madrid made it 2-0, uh, I think in the 94th minute, I thought, yeah, that's it. Uh, it's already 6-6 six, six o'clock, shall I go to the Derby de la, de la Sole? And I said, nah, against better, you know, I said, no, finish it out. And I saw the uh, first Aguero goal and I didn't miss anything at uh, the Derby de la Sole. And then it was really, uh, when it was 4-0 Liverpool at the half, I really thought, is it really worth watching it? But then this was kind of, you saw uh, how Ronaldo is going completely wacko. And so it was kind of this, a little bit morbid watching. Uh, is there something going to happen? Is Ronaldo going to, is a superstar going to sign off? Is Liverpool going to make history? Whereas the... Or admittedly, highly entertaining Derby del Sole took a little bit of a back seat, so um, I kept it this way. Derby del Sole on the computer, and I watched uh, United Liverpool uh, then. Uh, while uh, admittedly, when it was then really the pork bar sent off, I actually then took some time to have uh, dinner with my wife, and the older daughter came back at that point too. And then uh, the only thing that was left. Okay, Derby della Sola is on. Uh, we have a little bit waiting time. Um, what do we put on? Yeah, I saw Betis against uh, Rayo a teeny bit. And then uh, I went all for Le Classique. Or, I mean, in France, I heard that it's all called uh, Le Classico or whatever. Uh, that was the better, better game of, over the Derby dell'Italia because it was one of those games where I had the feeling this is just about to boil over at any moment. This is one of those highly combustible matchups, which Inter Juve as well, but uh, it's a little bit... At this point, there's not a de-hate, whereas uh, for PSG Marseille, I just feel with all the superstars coming that the atmosphere will be outstanding. Uh, and I think it was the better match, although there were less goals scored, but uh, it was about to boil over. So yeah, crazy, crazy evening. And the game that I probably should have watched was Atletico Madrid against Real Sociedad, but to, to be honest, from the onset, that was the one game that I had to miss. So yeah, I have here all the games. More or less <laughs> on the wall that I watched yesterday, uh, where I saw uh, quite, quite a bit. And so now I think I'm ready, because this needed to be acknowledged effect. It was just absolute crazy. And now I'm ready to shoot at least the first two reviews that, that you will have them in the afternoon. And then I'll spend the evening uh, after work again and do the rest. So let, let me know which games you watched for of this crazy afternoon. Uh, if you did anything like me or if you just decide, okay, no, I'll stick with one league. That's the problem with me. I won't stick. And uh, even my wife acknowledged that, that I think this was crazy uh, and I fully agreed with it. But I said, you know, I gotta do this. I'm watching a lot on the weekend. I'd never lie, li li lie like it. And uh, in my defense, on Saturday, I didn't even watch the full Bundesliga um, conference. Uh, I only watched the Milan game, hence I'm wearing Milan, because happy about that. And that game was nuts. So, lots to look forward to. And yeah, looking for, I'm looking forward to shooting out the reviews. And uh, again, let, let me know how you spent this uh, sun, Sunday, which games you caught. Uh, give me a thumbs up, enjoyed this video, subscribe to channel if you see more, and I'll talk to you soon. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel and click the little bell icon so that you get updated whenever anything happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.